Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. The time has come for us to uh, finally get this uh, switch replaced. And I went ahead and ordered the switches. And they're right here. So we have the switch. The same switch they use for... It's the same identical switch that Nintendo uses. I got it from Mauser. Mauser Electronics. I'll go ahead and link that... Um, this product in the description so you could um, get it if you need one. So the problem is that the switch is damaged. So as you can see here, I mean, this is so small, but you see how flimsy that is. And then if you look at one of the other ones here, it's nice and sturdy. So we're going to go ahead and take this off and swap it out. So let's get started. Let me uh, get my heat gun and, uh, Get this done. So I've got it set to, I think 380. Hopefully it's not too hot. Gonna go ahead and warm it up a bit. I'm trying to, I'm, I wanna make sure I get like all sides. And it might not be very um, viewer friendly because I'm going to have to like maneuver myself around the camera, around the lens here. So I might block some of the view. Okay, it's off. That was harder than it should have been. There you go. Let me make sure that the pads are intact. That's the most important thing for me. I believe so. Let's, um, Add some flux. Let me add some uh, leaded solder. And then we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and use the soldering wick to clean that up. Now I'm going to add some solder. I mean, I'm sorry, add some uh, flux and now add some solder. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about this. I'll worry about it later. Let me go ahead and clean it up a bit. Clean the bottom also. I'm going to add some flux to that. Very little. Let me grab my siren iron. Here we go. All right, so that's 10.
All right, let's clean it up and see. Um, I don't like that, but there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, let me see if I can remove it with the wick. Let me get a better wick. Oh well. It was worse. I mean, it's all exposed copper, so it's not a big deal. I need to just make sure it doesn't look too ugly. All right, let's continue with the reassembly. Uh, putting the switch on was not easy or fun, but it's on there now. I think it came out good. Uh, this is not liquid, liquid metal. It's actually solder that fell on. I was trying to clean it off, but it kept on spreading. But this is all, a, uh, this whole line here is, is ground. So it's not really going to make a difference. Just aesthetically, it won't look good, but no one's going to see this. It's going to be covered. I tried to take it off as best I could. Very, it seems like every time I tried to take it off, it kept on spreading more and more. It went from a little, little blob here into this. So we'll leave it as is, not make it worse. But it wasn't easy, and it wasn't it wasn't easy because I had to kind of maneuver myself, like away and try not to be in the uh, block the view of the camera. So it was harder than it should have been. But it's done. Now let's let's get to the fun part. Let's let me set this aside. So that way I can um, work on the actual cover itself. So these are the covers that I ordered, like a smoky um, clear cover. And then all the other accessories are here somewhere. So we'll eventually get to those here. But let's get this one going. Um, let me clean this piece because it, it is going to show through the back. I'll make sure that there's no fingerprints or anything that's going to um, make it come through the uh, plastic. So this goes like this. Okay. And let me clean this here. Even though this one's not going to be seen, it's going to be covered by the motherboard. But still. Sometimes the oils will oxidize the metal. Alright, so then this goes on. Blah, blah, blah. And this should seat. Let me double check the sides here. Uh, that looks good there. That looks good there. The front. It's, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. I want to hear it snap into place. All right. So now we have screws and shields. So this one goes here. And this one's going to go here, somewhere here, if I remember correctly. Remember it was like, was it like this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like that. All right, so that's there. And then we have the actual shield itself. But before we do that, I need to put the heat sink on. And I bought some pads. These that are um, the same material or the same pad that was on there before. I'm just going to cut it to size. It seems more it seems more practical than to having to buy you like pay 10 bucks for three pieces of, of thermal um, paste. It's not really paste, thermal pad. Clean these off a bit. And let me uh, this one looks clean. I don't remember if I cleaned it or not, but just to be on the safe side, let's clean it. Okay, and then I have the uh, pieces of, got one here, and this would be this one. This would be this one here. Let me grab my tweezers. Let's put this on. Like that. And after this video, I'm going to change this glove out. I think it's... It's time for a new glove or new gloves. And we're going to take the, these, these off here. 
and press this on like like so oops too late to move it now it can't go like this right or can it no it's got to go like this because let me look at the shield real quick at the other shield that goes on top of this okay so it's going to go like this we're going to use the long screws not too tight I don't want to break the um, plastic if I over tighten this oh that's not going to reach let me grab a longer screwdriver All right, this is here, this is here. I wonder who's, is that a signature? I wonder if that's a signature. Probably Miyamoto's signature. Okay, now this piece is next. Oh, we need to put um, some of the uh, padding here too, thermal padding there. So let's do that. Another piece here. Mm, here we go. All right, so this is going to go like this. And we're going to feed this through. Ow, my ears. that and this should go right through the fence here there we go everything looks good here let me clean the top of this also So everywhere there's an X, I'm sorry, an arrow, anywhere there's an arrow, we have a screw, a silver screw. And then black screws, all these black screws here are for the plastic pieces, I believe, if I recall correctly. Now this can't be pinched. I know what's going on. The um, Here, I need to do this again. Sorry about that because I want to make sure that the um, this connects connects onto this little board here I want to make sure it is on there there we go and that these are actually routed correctly like the, that so let's do this again there we go a lot better all right, so let's get screwing here. Now these longer screws are gonna go on the little triangles here. Not too tight. And then all these other ones go on the arrows themselves. So let's start with this one back here. And go all around till we have them all filled in. Okay, I think that's all of them. We'll find out. Now let's put the fan on. So this piece goes next. And then the fan. Like that. Let's get 
a screwdriver. Okay, so I need to get this in here, but in order to do that, I need to take off this black cover again. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Because this goes like this, and this should go like this here. Or does it sit on top? I think it sits on top. Like that. No, I didn't have to. Okay. Well, my bad. For sure, once I do this about a hundred times, I'll know exactly what I'm doing. But right now, I don't. We have two more screws here. And another. And then we have this piece here. There, and then we have this black screw in here. Okay, so that's on now. Now I'm gonna to need to transfer this, this onto this, but I've gotta figure out how you do it. Seems like I might need to break these in order to um, transfer it onto this one here. Let me see. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, post edit, voice over, true fixes here. This stupid faceplate took about an hour to swap out because I did not realize that there were clear parts in the, uh, in the kit. And I, I, um, swapped it with the white original parts and later realized that I had clear parts and I had to take it all apart and 
do it the right way. And that took forever because this is the worst piece in the whole freaking world to uh, try to uh, uh, swap out. So I do not recommend this to anybody. It is hell. So, all right, let's continue. Okay, if there are any kids in the room, please cover your ears. Okay, man, here we go. Holy shit. This was such a pain in the f um, having to uh, transfer all this over from the uh, old base plate to the new base plate was hell. Oh man, I don't know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm speechless as to how difficult this was, but it's done. Fingers crossed. Let's hope everything works okay. So now we come to a, an issue here. I know that we're using a clear case for this. Uh, where's my clear case? Right here. Now I'm contemplating doing this without the shield for the drive, for the disc tires, for the optical drive. Um, I just don't know how much it's going to affect it having it off as opposed to you know keeping it keeping it stock um it's going to take away from you know it, it kind of this makes it look so much better without the shield on because you can see all the moving all the moving components but i just don't know if i'm going to get any interference any interference when playing the games or anything like that so i'm at a crossroads here i don't know what to do uh i kind of want to of do this without the shield on so you can see the game spin and all that stuff but i don't know i honestly don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not i think to some extent it might be an issue but i don't know i have no freaking clue but with that said uh, I'm just going to take a chance and not put it on. We'll see. So I think this is all that needs to be done before closing it up, I think. I'm kind of looking around to see if I forgot anything. Well, got this filter here. I'm not sure if this came with the with the console. Um, if it came with the uh, with the clear case or if I um, if it's from the other one Jesus can't even I'm just um, I'm, I'm just ex mentally frustrated exhausted because of this stupid thing and I don't even think it's gonna fit here let me see where's the other cover where's the other cover I mean, I'm gonna put it on regardless but I just want to see why it's not sitting okay so that's how it sits let me set this to the side. I'm trying to be very careful not to scratch the plastic here because I'm pretty sure it's finished. It's going to show. Oh, that's good enough right there. It's fits nice and snug. Okay, so that's done. Now let's continue. Enough of that. But yeah, uh, not fun. Uh, honestly, not not like not lying. I was doing that for about an hour trying to uh, get this back together there's this plastic piece here this piece of crap piece that kept on falling off from the uh from the base i mean from the slot here and it's god it's just a pain i mean i don't even want to get into it um so i think that looks cool like that i mean the bottom it would have been cool if i didn't have to um put the shield on but I want to have at least some shielding as opposed to none so we'll leave this one down like this I mean I'm probably gonna play the Wii I'll probably play it flat but we'll see if it if it, if it does become an issue I'll go ahead and put it back on it's no big deal it's not gonna really make a big difference I mean I'll take it apart the only thing about it about that now is that this is visible but I, I could have taken this off so that we don't have to see this here but I'll just, it's just part of the assembly, I guess. Okay, enough rambling. Let's continue. All right, so let's do this in reverse order now. 
I'm actually going to be referencing a, um, a iFixit guide to make sure I have the right size screws. I brought my, uh, my caliper here so I can measure the screws. So that way, when I put it back on, I've got all the correct screws in the correct hole. Let's start. So the first two screws are going to go on this here. And these would have gone through the shield itself. So these would have gone through here. Uh, through these two. These two. So it's going to be our first. And these are 8.2 millimeter screws. So this one, which is Torx, and this one. Just to confirm, let me just double check. Eight point two, yeah. All right, so we have these two here. Honestly, that's probably the best way of doing this because uh, the last thing you want to do is have screws in the wrong in the wrong holes, and that's not cool. So let's get these first. Okay, that's one and two. Let's get there. Again, I don't want to over tighten these. All right, so that's two. What's next? We have another one over here by the battery slot. This one here, also 8.2 millimeters, which I'm going to assume it's this one too, right? They're the same size. I'm, am I being a little too paranoid? Yeah. Well, I mean, yes, I guess I am. Okay, is this not? It was at this moment that he knew. Is the case going to affect me screwing the top on? Uh, let me see. If it's going to go like this. He fucked up. Yes, it is, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. We need to put the, the, we need to put the shield on. Yeah, let's put the shield on. Oh, damn it. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to, um, put on the top cover. So, to answer my question, yes, I do need the shield. And not for the DVD player, or, I mean, the, the drive, but to assemble it back together good thing I wasn't that far into the into the reassembler else I would have been a pain in the butt too then you'd have you would have heard a grown man cry yeah this one has really tested my patience looks good and that looks good. All right, let's do this again. So we have two screws. Let's put this cover back on. All right, the next one is the actual battery itself, the battery compartment. And did I get a battery compartment with this kit? And yes, I did. So let's transfer this over to this. little C-clip here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it. All right, let me do this off camera. It'll be easier for me. There we go. It's just, it's all about the angle. There we go. All right, so this is next. Let's grab a new battery. We have a brand new battery for this. And positive is up. Perfect. What's next? Now we have two 8.2 millimeter screws going in through here, which are gonna be the long silver ones. And for the life of me, I don't know where I left my tweezers, my the ones I was originally using. They're probably, oh, damn it. Okay. 
So it's going to be one of these, 8.2 and 8.2. These go in here and I'm going to have to use this screwdriver because this one isn't going to reach. Try not to strip it, so I'm going to go very, very, be very, very gentle with it. See if it started with this and then finish it with the other screwdriver. Actually, that's, I don't need it. Let me see. How's that look? It needs just a little bit more, but let me do this side first and I'll continue with that side. So far as that goes, finish it off with this. Nope, not with this. Um, grab another. Okay, good enough. All right, next. So that we have the last 8.2, I believe goes on the on this side here. So we're gonna have the 8.2 here, which is this one here. I'm pretty sure someone, if, I mean, not someone, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know like all the sizes by heart as to what goes where. And then we have two Phillips, which I'm gonna assume it's this one, silver Phillips and silver Phillips. These are size, these are five millimeter Phillips screws. Let's see. Close enough, five millimeter Phillips. Up here. Perfect. We have two more Phillips on this side up here, up here. Now we have this black cover right here, 4.1 millimeter. I'm going to assume it's these right here because they're supposed to be Phillips. Let me make sure that the right, they're the right size, 4.1 millimeter. Yes. So this one's going to go here. Ooh, I need a smaller screwdriver for this. Oh, shoot. Jeez, Louise. All right, so that's done. And I think all that's left is the front cover itself. Got four more screws left. Hopefully I have them all. Okay, that's good. And this one is not good. Why isn't it going in? What is it on? What's in the way here? Nothing in the way. There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. And then it says that we have a screw here, which is a 5.9 millimeter Phillips. Another one of these. Five point nine millimeter.
8.3, that's not the right one. This one here, Phillips. And then same thing on the other side. Okay. And last but not least, the two down here. And these are going to be Torx, I believe. Not Torx, I meant to say Y. Let me just make sure. Okay, everything seems to be functioning correctly here. There we go. And there is our fully assembled. Wait, it's not fully assembled because this thing's not sitting in right. Oops, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now it's fully assembled. I didn't catch that. Sorry if you guys did, but I completely didn't catch it. I just want to be done with this already. There we go. Now it's fully assembled. Let's put these covers on. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. A scratch to got just from for from mom um, not being in it's like a plastic protector I'm not gonna take this off till I test it so let's test it next all right so well you know F it let's just do this so here is the completed we with a clear cover so far so good let me see here there we go got all angles and i'll put the rubber feet here in a second as soon as i know that it works i'll put the rubber, the rubber feet on i don't want to do that prematurely all right, let's let's plug this in. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go again. So this is the actual unit itself. And now let's test it. Oh, my finger's in the way. <laughs> Jeez, here we go. I'll do it like this. There we go. Uh, try to do this one-handed. I don't know what the hell you guys are looking at, but here we go. So this, yeah, shoot, uh, damn it, here we go, this, and where's the sensor bar, oop, I just heard something turn on, I'm probably pressing the button accidentally here, okay, and now let's turn on the power. see what we have and we remote so let's press a okay so we have we didn't mess up the the video section of this so that's good now let's 
get a CD or a game disc. We use the same one we used before. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed that everything plays okay. Okay, I'll do it like this. You guys can just kind of get a, uh, maybe like that. Okay, it's starting. Here I hear the initialization of the theme. And there we go. That was quick. Uh, where are my, there we go. And start. This time we'll let the whole sequence, uh, the uh, startup animation sequence go mostly all the way through just to make sure that kind of stress test the laser a little bit. Hear it reading, hear it reading. All right. I'm gonna let it, let it do its thing. Because I want to test the the uh, the eject function, make sure that it, it does eject the uh, the game. Because that's what we wanted to repair to. So let's see. Let's have it go to the start screen here in a sec. I remember playing. I remember when I played Metroid back in the day. Back in the, uh, I mean, when the console first came out, I was what in my teens maybe. So I was yeah, I was in my teens back in the eighties. When did the no the we came out of the nineties? So I was already a young adult. Maybe uh, late teens, early twenties. Back in the nineties, maybe. Depending what what year. Yeah, I think we're good. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I don't need to show you guys this. Uh, now let's let's see if the eject function works on this. This is the most important part, actually. Okay, we're gonna press eject, and it does. Sorry for the lighting. The lighting is a little bit crappy, but okay. There we go, folks. So off camera, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rubber feet on all these feet here. They gave me extra ones, but I'm gonna use the old ones. I want to keep these, and then they have. They have like stickers and stuff. I'm not going to put them on. 3M tape for the rubber feet. They have like stickers. But I'm going to... They look kind of crappy. 2004. Is that what intent, when the when the Wii came out in 2004? Huh. God. Okay. So maybe I'm wrong with, with, with ages. But either way. Whether it was 2004. So at, in the 2000s, I was already like freaking like 80. So... Okay, whatever. I'm just camera 80. All right, power is off. The light works. Everything works okay. No problems whatsoever. And we have successfully repaired and added a new case to this console. Yay. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. The next one might be a Super Nintendo uh, with no power, I think. So we'll see what's up with that one. All right. Have a good one, folks. Take care. He's the hero with a gentle touch. Bring back memories we can cherish so much. Joystick ready. Powers to the store and never revived like never before. Circuit this work, solar flow. Pixel dreams of retro thrill. Truth exists.